delighted to be talking to all of you today and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for me to share some ideas with you. Uh, I grew up in Bombay and I went to IIT Bombay where I got my bachelor's in electrical engineering and then I came to Pittsburgh in the United States and I got my master's and PhD at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. And I did something unusual after that. Uh, I became an entrepreneur right after Carnegie Mellon University. But over the course of uh, the first 30 years after getting my PhD, I built three different technology companies as a founder, entrepreneur, and CEO. The third of these was actually very, very successful. And that led me to the next phase of my journey, which I decided I would build a group of companies each of which would be a great company in technology. Uh, and on the other side, I felt that success in entrepreneurship should be celebrated. Uh, but the best way, in my opinion, to celebrate success is through philanthropy. So I started the Vadwani Foundation also about 12 years ago. On the business side, I started Symphony Technology Group that has turned out to be very successful. It's a group of 23 companies now uh, on a combined basis, $3 billion in revenue and about 18,000 employees. And on the philanthropy side, also we have made a great deal of progress. Nothing is more important than giving people the opportunity to get a high quality job, sustainable employment, because when you do that, you not only change their lives, you change the lives and the trajectory of their families for generations to come. Uh, we started this journey uh, 12 years ago with a major initiative in entrepreneurship that's called the National Entrepreneurship Network. And the objective of National Entrepreneurship Network is to create a large number of first generation entrepreneurs. Five years ago, we also started our work in skills development because as entrepreneurship is to job creation, it's important to make sure we have skilled people to fill the jobs that are being created. Of all the different population groups in India, the one that needs perhaps the most support, the most help in terms of getting into high quality jobs that will change the trajectory of their families, it is uh, the disadvantaged, the disabled, uh, who if they could be recruited, vocationally trained, and placed in jobs that are long-term jobs, particularly high-quality jobs that pay more than 10,000 rupees a month, this would in fact be a very important contribution to uh, the community of the disabled in India. By the way, I have a personal passion uh, on this topic because not only am I an entrepreneur, uh, I had polio at age two so I have personally lived the challenges of the disabled, though I must tell you I have never thought of myself as disabled. I've always thought of myself as someone who could do anything anyone else could do, certainly from a business or a vocation standpoint, perhaps not uh, competing for the Olympics, but that's not what life's about. Life's about being successful in the things that you can do well. Certainly, uh, uh, I've been very fortunate in being able to do a lot of things well, and the polio has not been an issue whatsoever. So in the same context, uh, we've created the, uh, the Opportunities Network for the Disabled, or OND, the purpose of which is to help provide vocational training and placement services for the disabled. And we have achieved a level of scale which is perhaps at the in the range of around 3,000 disabled people per year that our foundation is helping. Now on the one hand, I could make the statement that every person that you help uh, is, is a very important act of philanthropy. On the other hand, the scale of India is so vast that it really isn't enough. And a few years ago, we reached the conclusion that the best way to reach scale is not just to work by ourselves as the Vadwani Foundation, but to work in partnership in a private-public partnership with important government ministries. And what I find particularly remarkable and positive about what Prime Minister Modi is doing is that he set up two ministries that are so closely linked 
to the uh, importance of job creation and job fulfillment in India. Uh, one of them is the Ministry for Entrepreneurship and Skills Development. The other one is the Ministry for Social Justice and Empowerment. And we are working closely with both ministries and we hope to have uh, MOUs signed imminently with both ministries. And in both cases, it's about helping accelerate job creation, helping accelerate job fulfillment through skills development. Let me now just spend a minute talking specifically about the disabled and the initiative that you are focused on of training and placing 500,000 disabled people uh, in high quality jobs that are sustainable. India has tens of millions of disabled people and by changing the lives of 500,000 of them, you will directly or indirectly actually change the lives of millions of them. So it is an incredibly important objective, uh, one in which we will do everything at Vadwani Foundation to be supportive and to be a partner in your success. Secondly, achieving this kind of goal at this kind of scale requires both the resources of the Indian government and your ministries, but also requires support from foundations like ours that can provide flexible funding to do things that government is not as well equipped to do. And if I pick three specific examples of what our foundation can do to be helpful, the first of these would be program management because the execution of the different initiatives that ultimately translate to 500,000 jobs for the disabled requires very strong project management across a number of different organizations. We can help with that. The second is from a policy standpoint, sensitizing Indian business to recognize and Indian government enterprises and ministries to recognize that the importance of giving jobs to the disabled is not because it is a social good thing to do. It's really in their own best interest because disabled people we have found are far more loyal to the enterprises. They work longer hours, they have higher productivity and they have much greater commitment to the enterprise, what could be better than getting the business benefit of that while also getting the social good that comes from employing the disabled? But we need to get that message out. We need to make sure that companies and state enterprises are living up to their uh, legal and business uh, obligations to the disabled. We can help by creating curriculum and providing a technology platform through which that curriculum can be delivered both to the urban disabled and to the rural disabled. And we can certainly help in terms of measuring the outcomes to see how the program is doing, how these different initiatives are doing, and then course correcting as we go. So in closing, I'd like to say a uh, great initiative. I would strongly encourage all of you to get as passionate, as excited about the initiative as I am, as many of you are. And you can certainly count on the Vadwani Foundation to be your partner in your success. Thank you.